Hi, I'm Daniel Fuller from the Event Life Training Center, and welcome to our daily community meditation, where today we're talking about a waste of time. So this month in April of 2023, our message is the best use of time. And that ties into our message for this year of 2023, which is God saved the best until now. About walking in God's best. And part of that is making the best use of our time. Now, unfortunately, I think... We can waste a lot of time in the day. Now, I'm going to talk about some things that I think are one of the biggest wastes of time that we actually have for all of us. And that is things like worrying, venting, complaining, toiling away in our mind, trying to figure everything out. Spending time meditating on how somebody hurt our feelings, thinking about ways that people wronged us. Sitting there talking about these things, thinking about these things. Conversating about these things is just a huge waste of time. It's time that could be better spent on something productive, something that's going to produce good in the world, something that's going to help solve the problems that we face rather than just make them worse. Because actually, the more we meditate on the issues and the problems, actually, the more we make them worse. It feels like your situation grows worse as you meditate on it more and more. It becomes more and more overwhelming, more and more of a problem, the more that you magnify it. And so we're going to be asking God today, asking him to help us, help us to identify any ways that we are wasting time. Just wasting the time that he's given us, this time that he's given us as a gift from him. And he's given us more than enough, but sometimes we waste some of it. Help us to identify those areas and to turn it around, to turn that time into the best use of time, productive time that's producing things of eternal value. Producing value for today, but also for the age to come. But let's pray first, and then we'll get into our time of communion after that. Heavenly Father, I pray for everybody who's watching or listening, their families, their friends, everybody connected to them, and all of our church and governmental leaders. And I thank you for releasing us from darkness and transferring us into the light, into the kingdom of your dear Son. I thank you for your purpose and grace given to us in Christ Jesus before time ever began. And that Jesus was struck down, he was smitten, he was bruised and crushed and destroyed, pierced on his side. Also that you could be on our side, that you could be fighting for us. And I keep asking that you, the Father of glory, would give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that we would know you more and more that the eyes of our hearts would be enlightened to know the hope to which you've called us and the riches of your glorious inheritance that is in us and the immeasurable greatness of your power to us who believe. The same power that you exercised in Christ when you raised him from the dead, you seated him at your right hand in heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion and every name that is named. Not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And you put all things under his feet and made him to be the head of the body. The fullness of him who fills all in all. And Father, I ask you to bless us. And to make your face shine upon us, let us find grace and favor in your eyes. Expand our borders and our territory. Expand our capacity to receive everything you've given us in Christ. And to let it flow through us so that we do good and are a blessing to people all over the world. And send us opportunities to do good and be a blessing today. And help us make the most of those opportunities. Keep your hand on us and help us do today what's right and best in your eyes. And do it with peace and joy and confidence in you. And ask you to stretch out your hand to heal and do signs and wonders and keep us from evil and pain. Through the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Say, Father, we're asking for your help today. Help us to identify any ways that we're just wasting time. Things that aren't producing value. Maybe things that are moving us in the wrong direction. Help us to not waste time on things like worrying, venting, complaining, pouting. Meditating on ways that people have wronged us, that they've hurt our feelings. Just to let those things go, to cast those cares over onto you. 
and to help us to turn that time into productive time, the time that was wasted, that you would redeem it, that you would restore it, and you would turn it around into something that is the best use of time. And we thank you that the night Jesus was betrayed, he took the bread and said, this is my body broken for you. Do this in your remembrance of me. We'd all missed it. We'd all turn to our own ways. And God, let you lay it upon Jesus. The punishment that we deserved. And by his stripes, we've been healed. He was crushed and destroyed by you, smitten by you. So that we could be right and holy and perfect in your sight. And you raised him up from the dead. And you seated him at your right hand. And you raised us up together with him. And if you would do all that, how would you not graciously and freely give us all things richly to enjoy? And we get this opportunity today. In taking communion, we get to remember our union with you through the sacrifice of Jesus. And so I thank you for this bread. And ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. If you have your bread, you can take your bread. Then after supper, Jesus took the cup. He said, this is the cup of the new covenant. In my blood, poured out for the forgiveness of sins for many. And it's the forgiveness of sins that released us from darkness. And transferred us into the light. Into the kingdom of your dear son. We get to walk out this day today in a covenant relationship with you. Because of the blood of Jesus, a blood sworn oath. So I thank you for this cup. And ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. If you have your juice, you can take your juice. All right, so normally after our time of communion, we talk about some health and fitness tips. Because I think physical exercise is meant to teach us how to exercise our faith. Now, in our physical workouts, I think sometimes we do exercises that really don't make that much difference for us. We waste some time in our workouts. And so, Father, we're also asking for your help today. Help us to identify anything we're doing in our workouts that's just a waste of time and turn it around, turn it into a highly productive use of our time. But I hope it's been helpful for you today. If you'd like to be a part of what we're doing in the Abundant Life Blueprint, you can go to the Abundant Life Training Center dot com.